Well, sure. The first thing you have to look at is the rhetoric that he used leading up to the four tenants that he laid out. And a lot of that was, was fearful and, uh, and scare. He, he talked about gangs and talked about the drug war. Uh, and what's important to know is that if you look at statistics, they tell us that immigrants are less likely to commit crime and more likely to be hardworking. So if you think about the immigration policy, absolutely, we need to find a pathway to citizenship and a speedy pathway to citizenship for the, for the dreamers, for DACA. But we need something more comprehensive than that because we need to be able to fill our, uh, our gaps, our skill gaps in the economy. If Donald Trump wants to continue his build the wall rhetoric, which is what he ran on and which is one of his uh, tenants, then that's actually going to set him back in the rhetoric that he was talking about for the economy. The wall is going to be expensive and it's actually going to be a setback to the productivity of our economy. Zed, I think we have a surprising amount of agreement on this panel on this issue, so I want to kick you the politics. Uh, do you see Donald Trump signing on to a DACA deal without getting funding for his wall project? Well, I think something that's consistently been a feature of President Trump is that he talks a big game, he's very combative, he's always involved in feuds, but at the end of the day, he can be, he does have a pragmatic streak, you know, he does have an ability to kind of, when the, you know, rubber hits the road, to be able to sign on to a deal and say that he got something done. And I think that's going to be really important for him because there's a lot of skepticism towards that wall in Congress, and not just from Democrats as well. Um, uh, on the flip side, you know, Democrats have to realize the same thing. Uh, Republicans control every single branch of government. So being insistent that we can't do anything more on border security, we can't do anything more on curbing any type of immigration, well, you might not be able to get a DACA deal that way, right? Yeah. And the thing about the DACA deal is actually it's not that controversial. I mean, something like 80% of Americans think that the folks uh, with DACA status should be able to get some kind of pathway. It's an amazing ship. stumbling block. So really, I mean, President Trump says he's there. Democrats say they're there, Republicans say they're there. Uh, the rest is kind of, are kind of details that they have to work out. And a lot of people, you know, millions of people are literally counting on them being able to work that out. So I think if President Trump does want to be able to say that he's got to win, and I think that's par partly the core of his ideology beyond any commitment uh, on immigration or any other principle, he wants, so to say that he wants to say that he won. I think he needs to be able to show that flexibility when, when the rubber hits the road on, on these deals. 